balls don't go into a potable position, but he's thinking it's like a risk. He's, he's, he's summing up a risk, well, not the three ball plant, the weird plant. Well, the That's weird plant would have to be to <laughs> knock the red that's near the cushion onto the pink to make the plant. He just can't see an easy safety <laughs> shot, but <laughs> surely, surely not. Surely not. <laughs> no, 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 he's turned it down. <laughs> well, that's what Joe thinks of the plant. Oh, in the end, did he play there? That was definitely the wrong choice. He thought long and hard, and boy, what a shot he took on there. Well, one. It was always pushing to the top cushion. Well, surely the safety shot would have been a better option. Well, he knew if he pulled that tough plant off, he could have won the match. Now, can Ronnie O'Sullivan... No, turn that phone off, please. ...hold himself together as someone's phone goes off. It's been terrific all afternoon, and someone has forgot... Switch the phone off. Somebody Can turn you the phone it? off, please. Yeah, I was just going to say if Ronnie O'Sullivan can just keep himself together here. 12. Seems a strange thing to say 13. with a player like Ronnie O'Sullivan and all that he's won in the game, but even the greatest player in the game suffers from a little bit of pressure at times. He might well need that last red on the side cushion. Nineteen. He will. Twenty. <laughs> Well, everyone was looking forward to this match. They were looking forward to Ronnie O'Sullivan coming back after that eight-month layoff. But I didn't think we were going to get 28. a fabulous match like this. It really has been very special. And you see little things like that cannon. Well, he's still just about OK, but that's 35. a bit of a stretch. He made it look easy. It's fascinating to see how he goes about moving that difficult red that Steve mentioned. 43. Well, he's got to let him get an angle on the second last red and flick it into play and be guaranteed on a book. <laughs> Colour, it's, it's as simple as it could be could be really oh. under the circumstances he's still going to play the shot right but perhaps a little bit wider than he would have wanted but if he can at all flick this red into play he will do now he's got to do it from the green 51 needs to pull up he doesn't want to be straight on the green otherwise he can't get to that red a little bit of angle He was almost 55. straight on the green and he forced it over to knock the red out. That was a fabulous shot. So Mark Williams thought long 57. and hard about that plant that he took on. <laughs> and <laughs> right he said to the referee, the yellow's got to come back up again. But what a match we've had here. Mark Williams has been superb. 59. Now you see 32 ahead. Sixty-two. And Ronnie now will play the winner of Mark Selby and Ricky Walden, their player this evening. Doesn't matter about the Brown. Mark looks at the 62. scoreboard.
He's deciding whether to go and shake hands. He's having a think. He's coming over to... No, he's not finished quite yet, but uh, the rocket is in the next round. Well, that's one of the snookers. Well, LeBron's heading over the corner pocket. He needs four snookers at the moment. It's been three years since Mike's been here in the Masters. He doesn't want to leave just yet. And now we will get the handshake. Yeah, he turns to Ronnie O'Sullivan and congratulates the Rockets. It's been a fabulous match. These two players have put on a fantastic.